The nurse, as usual, was making her morning rounds, visiting all the patient's rooms. When she entered the room of a patient who had been in a coma for 15 years, she encountered something she never expected. She sensed a difference in the young woman's body. When she lifted the sheet to understand the situation, she let out a scream of horror. She couldn't believe her eyes. As other staff rushed in upon hearing her scream, chaos ensued. Shortly after, the police called to the scene would initiate an investigation that would capture everyone's attention. 15 years ago, a girl found unconscious on a sidewalk was brought to the hospital when she was just six years old. The man who brought her in didn't know who she was, but she was unconscious and her condition didn't look good. After a series of tests, it was determined that she was in a coma. The girl, named Mariana by hospital staff, was hooked up to machines, and during this time, the police were expected to find her family. Six months passed, yet the girl's identity remained a mystery. When doctors concluded that there was little chance of her waking up, the question of removing her from life support arose. However, despite the hospital administration's decision, some doctors and nurses started a fund to collectively cover her expenses. Years went by. Mariana, now known as the Sleeping Beauty, had become a symbol. Some argued that keeping her alive for years had no meaning and that she should be allowed to rest in peace, while others insisted that despite being on life support, Mariana was alive and should be waited for. The head nurse of the hospital, Andrea, was the one most dedicated to her. She spent all her free time in Mariana's room, chatting with her and playing music. She loved her as if she were her own daughter. She genuinely believed that one day, Mariana would wake up. That evening, as Andrea left the hospital, she was very tired. In a moment of carelessness, as she tried to cross the street without checking, she was hit by a car and seriously injured. Andrea underwent treatment at the hospital for three months. However, she needed a long time to fully recover. She spent about a year in another city with her children. But her mind was always on Mariana. She thought the other hospital staff weren't caring for her enough, and she wondered about Mariana's condition. When she finally returned to the hospital, her first task the next morning was to visit Mariana's room. At first glance, the sleeping beauty looked the same. But upon closer inspection, she felt something different in her body. When she lifted the sheet, she began to scream at what she saw. Mariana's belly was swollen. She appeared to be visibly pregnant. Tests revealed that Mariana, who had been in a coma for 15 years, was six months pregnant. Moreover, the baby's health did not look good. It was determined that the birth needed to happen as soon as possible. Despite being born premature and fragile, the baby, named Linda, clung to life after a cesarean section. It was said that the chances of survival were very high, and she had overcome the risks. Now the main question was, who was responsible for this? When Andrea realized that the hospital administration was trying to cover up the incident, she immediately informed the police, because it was clear that someone had taken advantage of Mariana's condition. She wanted whoever did this to be identified and punished. Fearing the public fallout of the investigation, the hospital made a ruthless decision. After 15 years of being kept on life support through the contributions of voluntary workers, Mariana would be taken off life support and the baby would be placed in state care. Andrea was in shock. Despite her efforts to change the situation, she couldn't succeed. She wanted the baby, named Linda, to at least smell her mother. She took the baby from where she was and placed her in her mother's arms. She was in tears. At that moment, a miracle happened. Mariana, with the baby in her arms, began to open her eyes and regain consciousness. This would change everything. For Mariana, who had regained consciousness after six years, a new and challenging period had begun. She couldn't understand what had happened or what to do. After recovering, Andrea became her greatest supporter. After fully regaining their health, she took them into her home. She helped Mariana with the baby's care and adapting to life. Meanwhile, the father of Linda was also identified through DNA testing of all hospital staff. He was one of the senior doctors at the hospital and was arrested and sent to prison. Moreover, the doctor had been one of the biggest donors for Mariana's survival. After attending psychological and physical therapies for a while, Mariana felt much better. 
Now, with Andrea, whom she saw as her mother, and her daughter Linda, she could lead a happy life.